It's day 211. Of the 29th year and beyond. Well, you know, as you uh, continue on the journey of life together, you know, their plans, their ideas, their uh, uh, agenda items that you want to accomplish. And those things are really important um, because of the value that they add to you mm -hmm. and the value that they could potentially add to others. So what's you on your agenda? <laughs> well, what's on my agenda is to heighten our awareness to everything that we have accomplished that we wanted to, mm -hmm. but there's still so much more that we that we need to accomplish. I agree. Uh, as, a, uh, as a married couple, mm -hmm. uh, as a ministry couple, mm -hmm. um, and so <clears throat> there's a John Maxwell. John Maxwell uh, is someone who I think is one of the gurus on leadership and success and Definitely. on teaching. And um, so <clears throat> one of the quotes by John Maxwell says, ideas have a short shelf life. You must act on them before their expiration date. I think that's powerful. Oh, it is. Very yeah. powerful. That means I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the reason why I share that is because all of us, regardless of who you are, I imagine you have ideas, you have uh, visions and dreams and things you want to, but if you go from the perspective that ideas have a short shelf life and you must act on them before their expiration date, then that provides a sense of urgency. It does. And it makes you really um, put things in perspective. And like I say, um, things that are essential in your life, you need to you know, take care of those first and then move on. So yeah, those, I, yeah, I get it. You know, and so again, it gets back to because we have, Lord knows, so many things that we're responsible for, obligated to, mm -hmm. and things that we need to achieve. But it gets back to understanding how to prioritize, mm -hmm. but also that you can't do everything in and of yourself. Ah, essentialism. And that's why you have to pick and choose. I mean, because there, like you said, there's so many things you want to do, need to do, or even feel like you need to do, but you have to pick and choose what's the most important. What's um, the things that are gonna, one, leave a legacy? Mm. Um, what's gonna be important for your family um, in that legacy? And how can you best, um, for me, how can I best um, advance God's kingdom? Wow. Speaking of God's kingdom, when we talk about achieving godly things, mm -hmm. and that goes beyond, you know, uh, our abilities, which are very limited, mm -hmm. and which leads me to another Maxwell quote. He says, when your dream is bigger than you are, you have two choices, mm -hmm. give up or get help. That's right. And so, you know, getting back to the ideas and the short shelf life, and big things when we're talking about doing god things it's always going to be bigger than you it's and it's big. always going to extend beyond just you even mm -hmm. when you're talking about us as a couple right so we have the option according to john maxwell of giving up mm -hmm. or getting help right. and understand that don't be so um focused on what your abilities are and what you can do and what you can't do that you allow that to hinder you from making the progress that you need to make get help if that means from the creator himself or those he has put in your circle of influence definitely and i mean for anything that's worth getting you may actually need some help i mean because i think like you said if something is bigger than you are um you're always going to have to reach out to those people or um, entities that can give you the strength and the balance that you need to do what you've got to do because make no mistake <clears throat> If you're attempting to do godly things, then that means it's a God-sized uh, God task, mm -hmm. which is beyond any of our abilities, individually or collectively. And so understand that. If you want to do stuff that's within your realm of, of scope of possibility mm -hmm. and ability, then it's not large enough. That's right. Right? When we're talking about kingdom advancement, when we're talking about God-sized things. Mm -hmm. So understand this. I, I, I do buy into the idea that ideas do have a shelf life mm -hmm. and we need to act before the expiration date. And if your dreams, if your uh, goals and objectives are bigger than you are, you're going to either give up mm -hmm. or get help to accomplish them. That's right. Can you help make something happen? So, not may, always will. That's right. In various forms. <laughs> Until tomorrow, if the Lord says the same. Bye.